Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the 360 Daily Show. Drake loses 600 million naira bet on Israel Adesanya to defeat a Dracus du Plessis. Don Jazzy and Cory Dobelo spotted at DJ's 48th birthday party. Five people charged in connection to French star Matthew Perry's death. Lush monochrome handbag is the star of new Hello Kitty worldwide retro collection. And in our trending segment, Drake has suffered another high-profile loss in his sports betting endeavors. This time, he wagered a substantial sum of $450,000 to defeat Drakus Duplessis in the UFC middleweight champion boot. Unfortunately, Adesanya succumbed to a choke submission in the main event, resulting in Drake's loss. The final stakes were significant as Drake stood to gain a substantial $850,000 if Adesanya had emerged victorious. This setback marks the second instance of Drake losing a bet on Adesanya. During the initial encounter, Adesanya was knocked out by Alex Perea, causing Drake to lose a staggering $2 million Canadian dollars, which is approximately 600 million naira girl <laughs> drake is so funny like he makes me laugh each time he does these bits i don't know like it's so funny to me because this you know there's something know called me. do you know there's something called drake's bad luck no 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 You've never, not heard of that. never heard of it so what happens always is each time drake places bets these days he always loses so most times when drake bets on someone people bet the opposite because they don't want that's Drake's crazy. bad luck do you understand drake has the money i mean he's a rich guy oh, that's a lot of he's money king, girl which is a rich dude you know Too enjoy million. your time drake and on to our sports segment, Nigerian music executive Don Jazzy won the hearts of many after he was spotted at the birthday party of his former signee, Deja's 40th birthday party. The former Maven diva was elated to see her music boss as they shared a warm hug while Cora De Bello captured the heartwarming moment. Yes. I saw Deja She's and 40. she doesn't look 40. Girl. Like when I saw that she was 40 at first, I was shocked. I was like, how? Like, how is she that possible? 40? She looks so good for her age. Very good. And then she's also very quiet. Nobody even hears any She's Jesus. married Nobody now. Knows she has a child. She has a child. She has a child. She's married. Key. Exactly. Love so low-key. I love Deja. She's I think she has oh, actually made wow. her mark in the industry. On to our editorial segment. Five individuals have been charged in connection with the death of Friends sitcom actor Matthew Perry on October 28, 2024. This comes after investigators stated that they uncovered an underground network of drug sellers and suppliers allegedly responsible for distributing the ketamine that killed the actor. U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada said that the defendants took advantage of Mr. Perry's addiction issues. According to a press release from the U.S. Attorney's Office, said defendants included two doctors, Paris Liven personal assistant, and a person referred to as the Ketamine Queen. Three of the five charged have reached a plea agreement, and the other two defendants, namely Dr. Salvador Plasencia and Jasvin Sanga, were indicted. Matthew Perry died on Saturday, October 28, 2023, at the age of 54. He was found floating face down in a standalone jacuzzi at his Pacific Palisades home. After investigations, the Los Angeles Medical Examiner's Office autopsy report revealed that the actor died as a result of acute effects of ketamine and subsequent drowning. And on our new collection, Japanese fashion company Jador Jean has released a range of retro-inspired goods with Sanrio's popular Hello Kitty, including stylish high-end handbags and clothing, among other new merchandise. June's robe brand has released an extensive range of Hello Kitty products, including vanity bags, handbags, pouches, clothing, keychains, and charms. And on a Spicy or Not, Meghan Markle wore the same butterfly earrings that her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, wore in 1986 on Friday. The suit alarm rocked the gold stud earrings during the second day with her husband, Diana, and King Charles III's son, Prince Harry. Markle spotted the earrings with a simple look consisting of a white button-down blouse tucked into skinny black trousers alongside a beige coat and matching flats. Marco seems to have an infinity for the dainty earrings as she has been spotted wearing them twice before. She debuted the family harem in Australia in October 2018, shortly after she and Harry announced they were expecting their first child. Don't forget to catch us up at SpiceTV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Bye.